Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve this given exponential equation 16 raised to the power x minus 12 raised to the power x is equal to 9 raised to the power x. When you come across the equation like this, there, there are two things. First of all, how to recognize this equation. Secondly, how to solve this equation. First of all, how to recognize this 16 can be written as 4 raised to the power 2 raised to the power x minus something in the middle is equal to this 9 can be written as 3 raised to the power 2 raised to the power x. So care on both sides. So care of a number on both sides and in the middle there is a multiplication of two numbers. 4 times 3. So care both sides and in the middle there is a multiplication of two numbers. Now how to solve this equation? You can divide this equation by 9 raised to the power x or you can divide it by 16 raised to the power x. The reason I am doing this because I would like to change this exponential equation into a quadratic equation. Then I will solve further by taking two values of the two values of x. Now I will divide this equation by 9 raised to the power x. So from here divide this equation divide by 9 raised to the power x on both sides. So this is 16 raised to the power x over 9 raised to the power x minus 12 raised to the power x over 9 raised to the power x is equal to 9 raised to the power x over 9 raised to the power x. So 9 raised to the power x cancel with 9 raised to the power x. So this 16 can be written as 4 square raised to the power x. 9 can be written as 3 square raised to the power x minus this 12 can be written as 4 raised to the power x times 3 raised to the power x over this 9 can be broken down 3 raised to the power x times 3 raised to the power x is equal to 1. So this 3 raised to the power x cancel with 3 raised to the power x. So in the next step I am going to combine the power. So this is 4 over 3 raised to the power 2 raised to the power x because we know that this is the law of the exponent if x raised to the power a over y raised to the power a this can be written as x over y whole raised to the power a. So individually can be written as whole raised to the power 2. This whole raised to the power x. So minus 4 over 3 raised to the power x is equal to 1. So in the next step I am going to swap the powers. So this is further equal to 4 over 3 raised to the power x whole raised to the power 2 because we know that there is a law of the exponent if x raised to the power a raised to the power b this can be written as x raised to the power b whole raised to the power a just swap the powers minus 
4 over 3 raised to the power x, 4 over 3 raised to the power x is equal to 1. So in the next step, I am going to put 4 over 3 raised to the power x is equal to k. Put 4 over 3 raised to the power x is equal to k. So over this equation can be written as k square, the cross takes a square, and this whole is k and k square minus this whole is k is equal to 1. So this is further implies that shift this one on this side. So this is k square minus k minus 1 is equal to 0. This is our quadratic equation in k. So the roots of this equation are k is equal to 1 plus minus 1 plus 4 under root over 2. We know that our standard quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. The roots of this equation are minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac under root over 2a. So we know that the roots of this standard quadratic equation. So we got the two values of k. k is equal to 1 plus 5 under root over 2 or k is equal to 1 minus 5 under root over 2. So this 5 under root is more than 1. So this is minus. So this is negative. So we will discard this case. We will only consider this case. So our values of k are k is equal to 1 plus 5 under root over 2. We know that the value of k is 4 over 3 raised to the power x. So this is by putting the values of k. This is 4 over 3 raised to the power x is equal to 1 plus 5 under root over 2. So you can solve this equation by taking the natural logs on both sides. So this is further equal to taking natural log on both sides. So this is ln of 4 over 3 raised to the power x is equal to ln of 1 plus 5 under root over 2. So this is this x coming in the front. So this is x ln of 4 minus ln of 3 is equal to ln of 1 plus 5 under root minus ln of 2. So x is equal to taking this whole stuff under this. So this is ln of 1 plus 5 under root minus ln of 2 over natural log of 4 minus natural log of 3. So when you take the values of whole this natural log, this is approximately coming to 1.676. So values 
of x is equal to approximately 1.676 so this is my final answer i hope you like this video thanks for watching